with the recent release of Assassin's Creed Nexus, there seems to be a lot of goings on within the VR community, whether that be on Twitter or Reddit or forums in general. A lot of people are wondering, where are the AAA titles? Why aren't we getting more Assassin's Creed Nexus? Why aren't we getting more Half-Life Alex? Why aren't we getting these big titles in VR? Where are the devs? Where are the AAA studios? Are they not paying attention to VR? What's going on? So today I'm hoping to kind of clarify where VR is, as well as what we can hopefully expect in the future. Based on the history of sales numbers, we're going to say that there is 30 million headsets in circulation. This includes everything from PC VR all the way to the Pico. So hypothetically, let's just say that there's 25 million headsets in the Quest line. This is Quest Pro 3 2. There's 2 million for the Pico. There's another 2 million for PC VR, and then there's a million PlayStation VR 2 users. Now, I want you to keep that 30 million in mind as I talk about why we aren't really seeing AAA VR as much as we probably want to. Half-Life Alex will more than likely be the one exception to the rule when it comes to VR development and turning a profit for a AAA IP, due to the fact that Valve has open source their project to allow any headset to work. So although there was 80 devs and on average their salary is $105,000 a year, bringing the full development cycle of four years and 80 devs to $33.6 million for the development of Half-Life Alex, in 2020 it was confirmed that they've sold 2 million copies and that was only possible because of how many Quest 2s and third-party headsets that were connected via PC to be able to play Half-Life Alex. I don't think the index alone would have made these numbers, and that is why I believe Alex is the only one that is able to be profitable because they have so many headsets that support their software. But their software is also really good and stands on Valve's name. Hypothetically, the studio that made Horizon Call of the Mountain, which is Fire Sprite, has 265 employees. I went ahead and divided that by two and got 132 employees. We're gonna put them at $75,000 a year income, and we're gonna hypothetically say that it took three years to develop Horizon Call of the Mountain. Unfortunately, there's no actual date on this which is kind of weird that i couldn't find anything but that's besides the point so seventy-five thousand dollars a year times 132 and then times that by three years of development comes out to 29.7 million dollars i'm not gonna say that a hundred percent of people bought horizon call of the mountain that got a playstation vr2 but a lot did. We're going to go ahead and be nice and say 50% did. And out of that 50%, if you do the math, it comes out to $30 million. That is just breaking even on development of three years with 132 employees. It's $75,000 a year. Now, realistically, since we're only taking development cost into it and we're not putting any of the promotion or R&D back into anything on this. This is breaking even. If we add any promotion to any of these games whatsoever, no VR AAA IP is making a profit. And what do businesses want to do? Make a profit. But the difference between this and something like Assassin's Creed is that these are first party games. These are meant to be loss leaders, which is why we get them. These are essentially first-time investments on hoping the technology becomes viable enough to one day become profitable and be an early player in the space, which is why Meta bought Oculus and Sony is really going all in on PSVR 2 as much as they can right now. And even Valve, they're working on a second headset. They want to be those movers for this space 
And that's what these big AAA games from these first parties are. These are investments for that future. I want everybody to remember that all the numbers that I stated at the beginning are being generous. These are not monthly active users. These are just users that could be active. For this next example, we're gonna go with 4 million. Why are we going with 4 million? Well, we're gonna take the numbers for PC VR and the numbers for PlayStation VR 2, combine them, and then add an additional million for, for good luck. Assassin's Creed Nexus came out, glowing reviews on the MetaQuest 2, but the PC VR crowd and the PS VR 2 crowd decided that chiming in and asking why isn't this on the respective platforms, well, there's a few reasons. One, Meta subsidized that. So Meta wants to have it exclusive to make sure people come into their ecosystem, which if you're gonna get with any exclusive, that's just how it is. You know, Sony could have done the same thing. Valve could have done the same thing. It is what it is. Kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme. The real reason why none of this would have happened regardless of subsidization is it wouldn't have turned a profit. Realistically, if we are getting true, and I mean true triple A developer studios of four to, you know, a thousand people, 400 to a thousand people working on a game, let's take Horizon Forbidden West, for example. We recently learned that that game cost $212 million to develop before any promotional investment. That's just to develop the game. If we took all 4 million users, again, that's combining PC VR and PlayStation VR 2, into one group and 100% of them bought the game Assassin's Creed Nexus at the $40 price point that it is at currently, is $160 million. Definitely not making $212 million. Not making that one back. So if they had a dev team the size of Horizon Forbidden West, which I want to say is somewhere close to 500 people, it's not turning a profit. And profit is the reason we are not seeing high fidelity AAA games in VR. It's just not doable at this point. Will it be doable in the future? 110%. I, I highly, highly feel that by 2025, 2030, you know, it can't really be wrong if I'm going out that far, right? Um, we will have true AAA VR teams working on a lot of these games. But until then, buckle up, Buttercup, because you're only going to have small teams working on these very high fidelity games, and we got to be happy with what we get. I mean, obviously, if it's bad, we have to say so, but still, don't expect these AAA developers to come to the rescue and really put a whole bunch of money behind VR when it's hard for it to be profitable. Meta doesn't truly have 25 million active users. They just have 25 million headsets in the wild. It doesn't even mean that all of them game or all of them even turn on once a month. So before you get all up in arms and screw you Meta and screw you, you know, AAA devs for not bringing your game to our platforms, remember your platform isn't gonna turn a profit most of the time. That being said, my name is Butter Something. I want to thank all of you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next video.